Man, we certainly needed that one. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Phillies Hatch Stove Mania Turn Cap and last night's game between the Fifth Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks as the Phillies defeat the Diamondbacks by a final score of 18 to 2. A nice smackdown of uh, the Diamondbacks last night as we avoid the broom, most importantly. Now, guys, before getting into this video, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please share engage your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Uh, so how about that we score 18 runs on 22 hits and we do not hit one home run last night. And that's one of the things I really, really loved about last night's when we were doing the little things right. Uh, we were doing the little things right and every starter out of the lineup last night collected a hit. Think about that. Uh, you know, just, just think about that for a second. Uh, so I, I'm very proud of this team for the offensive performance we got to see last night. And Bailey Falter, uh, you know, really doing his job last night. I mean, it, just the irony here, right? You have Aaron Noll going to the mound game two, and he absolutely uh, just chokes. Uh, and uh, he certainly didn't do his job. I and mean, we should have won the first game of the series up 7-0. And you're thinking, like, going into the third game of the series, oh, my gosh, I'm not too confident in this Phillies team, you know, with them, you know, possibly winning this game. Everybody was contributing last night. Everybody. Everybody was joining. Running in on the action as we pick up the scoring summary here in the top of the first inning. Alec Baum hits a ground ball to short over to uh, Gerardo Palmero. It wasn't the best throw from Palmero. Kyle Schwarber was able to come around to score. Uh, it is now one nothing fills. Uh, so that's what you have to do. You have to take advantage of your opponent's mistakes, and that's what the Phillies did right there. Then we pick it up here in the top of the third inning. Bryce Harper redeems himself, right? He, you know, he has first and third, nobody out in his first AB, and he goes down on strikes, and he's swinging at stuff he shouldn't be swinging at. Uh, but then he was able to redeem himself as he singles on a ground ball to center field that sneaks in. Reese Hoskins comes around to score as the Phillies now lead it 2 to nothing. Uh, so there you go right there, the reigning NL MVP joining in on the action. Now 52 RBIs for uh, Bryce Harper on the season. We pick it up here in the same inning. Gene Segura singles on a little blue fly ball to right field that happened to stay fair. Uh, and Jake McCarthy didn't really play that too well. So out boom, comes around to score. And Bryce Harper hustling uh, comes around to score as well because the Diamondbacks were not paying attention. They tried to get Harper home played and the throw was not in time. I love the aggressiveness from Bryce Harper, right? I mean, we see it all the time. Now 4 nothing fills. And we pick it up here in the same inning. Matt Veering singles on the line drive to left field. JT Remuto crosses the plate. And it's now 5 nothing fills. Matt Veering uh, doing his job right there. As I talked about, everybody was contributing. Everybody that was in the starting lineup last night got at least one hit. Uh, so that's what I love to see. Uh, so you got the BCIB crossing the plate. Then we pick it up here in the bottom of the fourth inning. The Diamondbacks cut on the board as Jake McCarthy homers on a line drive to right field. He certainly killed us in the series. His sixth of the season. Luckily, it was a solo shot. Uh, and it's 95 to one ball game. I mean, still at that point of ball game, really wasn't too concerned. Then we pick it up here in the top of the fifth inning. Gene Segura does it again as he singles on a ground ball to center field. Bryce Harper comes around to score as it's now six to one Philadelphia. Gene Segura definitely a guy that puts the bat on the ball quite a bit. Uh, and you know, that's one, you know, positive, a big positive comes out of Gene Segura. As I mentioned before, I, you know, I've, I'm, I'm a, I've, been a, I've been a critic of his, you know, for criticizing him for being a singles hitter too much. But, uh, you, know, you know, one big positive you could take out of Gene Segura is that he puts the ball in play a lot. Bryce was able to uh, come around and score on that one. Um, uh, so a nice five-run cushion for the Phillies as they get that run back. Let me pick it up here in the same inning. Brandon Marsh, Trouble Sunday line drive to center field. JT Mutual and Gene Segura come around to score as it's now an 8-1 to one Phillies lead. Uh, so uh, Brandon Marsh with his third triple of the season. Uh, first since coming over here to the Phils. Uh, seems like maybe he's starting to figure out a little bit, right? Homer the night before the three-run shot. Uh, and uh, he was able to you know, be, be a big contributor last night by collecting three hits. Uh, so that was great to see. So I love the hustle. Let me pick it up here in the same inning. Mortona throw a wild pitch. And Brandon Marsh was able to come around and score. As it's now a 9-1 ball game. Uh, so the Phillies tack on another one. Uh, as I talked about, they had a lot of slappy pay for the dime backs last night. Uh, so they love to take advantage. Joey pick it up here in the top of the sixth inning. JT Mucho into ground roll double on a deep fly ball to left center field. Outbaum comes around to score as is now a 10 to 1 Phillies lead. So Bryce Harper he would have scored on that one as well if that would have stayed in the park. Uh, but uh, that was uh, Mucho's 23rd double of the season. Uh, as he just continues to just be such a productive uh, piece to this Phillies team. Uh, so now a 9 run lead for the Phillies as they lead to 10 to 1. Then we pick it up here in the top of the seventh inning. Kyle Schwarber singles on a line drive to left field. The other way, and when your Sosa crosses the plate, and it's now an 11 to 1 Phillies lead. So everybody hits, right? Everybody hits. Remember that guy from the vet, you know, way back in the 90s. Everybody hits. 
Uh, so a Kyle Schwarber going the other way. Then we pick it up here in the top of the eighth inning. Matt Veerling does it again as he singles on the line drive to center field. JT Muto crosses the plate. Uh, and it's now a 12 to 1 Phillies lead. So this just felt so good. I mean, I, we were just really frustrated going into this game, right? I mean, we're tired of losing to these guys. We blow a 7 0 lead in the first game of this series. Uh, we get absolutely smacked around in the second game by losing 12 to 3. And we needed this. this. This needed to happen. This needed to happen. You need to show them who's boss. You need to show them who's better. Uh, so this this win just felt so good. And unfortunately, we're going to have to root for these guys because guess who they're playing next? The San Diego Padres. We're going to be big Dimebacks fans come this weekend. That I can tell you. I pick it up here in the same inning. Brandon Marsh does it again as he singles on a ground ball the other way to left field. Nick Maton comes around to score as it's now 13-1 Philadelphia. I, as I mentioned before, I mean, we didn't hit one home run last night. We, you know, we're hitting RBI singles, RBI doubles. We were just doing the little things right. Uh, we weren't trying to hit the ball to the ballpark. Uh, so I, I love it. Then we pick it up here in the same inning. Munoz Sosa does it again. He doubles on a sharp fly ball to right field. Matt Fearing crosses the plate. Sosa's ninth double of the season. Uh, and it's now 14-1 to Phils. Uh, so I just, he just kept tacking it on. Of course, we wouldn't be done uh, as uh, Frias throws a wild pitch as Brandon Mars comes around to score. And this is now 15 to 1 Phillies. Uh, so, uh, you know, two wild pitches uh, thrown by the Diamondbacks, let's say, resulting in two runs. So Brandon Mars scoring both of them, uh, which I find pretty funny. Uh, then we pick it up here in the same inning. Reese Hoskins hits a ground rule double on a line drive to right field. Two ground rule doubles last night, one by JT and one by Reese. Uh, so Mingo Sosa comes around to score Hoskins with his 25th double of the season, uh, and it's now 16-1 Phils. Then we pick it up here in the same inning. Garrett Stubbs doubles on a fly ball to left field the other way. Reese Hoskins and now Boom come around to score. It's, it's now 18-1 Philadelphia. Uh, so how about that? That would be our final two runs of the ball game. And certainly, I mean, g give them a clap. I mean, th that was one heck of a showing, man. That was one heck of a showing. Uh, so Stubbs with his fourth double of the season. Uh, so we now have a commanding 17-run lead. Then we would uh, give one up in the bottom of the ninth inning. Nick Nelson on the mound as Stone Grant grounds into a double play. As they were able to get Kirsten Walker at second. But a throw back to first. It was not in time to get Garrett. As Emmanuel Rivera comes around to score. As is now 18-2. to uh, so the Dynamax would just get one back. And not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's all that's going to happen. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, so, uh, you know, 18-2, to two, your final scores. The Philly salvage the final game. Uh, Kyle Schubert out of the lead. Uh, two singles last night. One of them driving in a run. Also drawing a walk. Uh, and also scoring one of the Phil's 18 runs. And uh, Reese Hoskins, three knocks out of the two-hole. Uh, he certainly was very productive last night, also uh, drawing a walk. Uh, so, uh, you know, certainly a big night last night for everybody. I mean, everybody was stepping up. Everybody was contributing. Hoskins now with 66 RBIs now in the year, going along with an 815 OPS, 251 average. Uh, so 26 tanks. I mean, I'd love to see him get to 30. I definitely think he will. Uh, of course, he has like about a month and a half to do it. Uh, and uh, Alabum, two knocks last night. Uh, also driving in a run. Also drawing a walk. He collected eight walks last night as a team. I mean, eight. Uh, that, you know, it's certainly very good for a team that honestly I think could do much better in the walk department. Uh, so uh, Al Bum certainly joining in on the action. 290 average now for Bum on the season. Bryce Harper, uh, three singles last night. Uh, you know, one of them being an RBI single. Uh, also drawing two walks. Uh, of course, the on-base machine, Mr. Bryce Harper. Through 263 at-bats, still has a 984 PS, 52 RBIs, 15 tanks. JT Real Muto. Single and a double last night uh, as he scores three of the Phil's 18 runs. Uh, as he also was able to draw a walk. A 273 average now for the BCIB to go along with an 801 OPS. Continues to sit over that 800 mark. 67 RBIs now for him. Uh, so he's just close to 70. Hopefully, maybe he can get to 20 runs on the year. If, if he doesn't, uh, that's okay. Uh, you know, it's certainly an improvement over last year. That is for sure. I mean, no question about that. Uh, a guy like Garrett Stubbs coming off the bench uh, and roping a double to left field to score two. Uh, and uh, Gene Segura is certainly putting the ball in play a good amount last night. One of them being that bloop single to right field. Uh, and uh, Matt feeling two knocks last night to two RBI singles. Uh, also scoring a run. Uh, he certainly was productive last night. And Brandon Marsh. Driving in three, collecting three knocks. Of course, one of them being a triple as he scores two of the Phil's 18 runs. Uh, so, and what, what a night last night. I mean, pretty good series for this guy, right? As I talked about, Homer did in the second game of the series. A three-run shot to right field. An absolute nuke. Uh, when it pretty much meant nothing, unfortunately. 45 RBIs now for Marsh. Uh, so, uh, you know, certainly we do well in that department, right? This Phillies team has definitely, you know, had has definitely ranked up the RBIs. Uh, no question, of course, it couldn't matter them were, you know, when he's with Los Angeles. Yes, I understand that. Ammonio Sosa, uh, two knocks last night. Also collecting an RBI double. 
Uh, also scoring two of the Phil's 18 runs. Uh, and uh, Bailey Falter, six in the third, five hits, one run, run was earned, didn't walk anybody, struck out six, a 408 ERA for Bailey Falter. I mean, one heck of a start, one heck of a start uh, for Bailey Falter, man. He went out there and did his job very, very well as he gets the win deservingly so in three and three in the year. So let me just be straight here for a second. I understand that this guy hasn't ate the amount of innings that Aaron Nola has had this year, uh, but uh, this guy goes out there against the Arizona Diamondbacks, goes six in the third, uh, only allows one run, and yet Aaron Nola goes out there and just four innings, ten hits, six earned. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Uh, so uh, how about that? You see the irony? I mean, you see the irony. So uh, Bailey Falter, props to you for doing your job. I'm, I'm really, really proud of this team last night. I, I am. I mean, the, you know, we we did we kind of counted them out last night. I didn't think they would win. I didn't think I didn't think they would do it. I'm sure some people did, but uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm really, really proud of them for you know coming against the odds and and you know being these guys. I mean, uh, because honestly, I mean, the confidence wasn't too high. Right? We have Aaron Nola night before we get absolutely shelled. This offense isn't really showing much life. So I don't think we were favored going into last night's game. I definitely don't think we were. Uh, no way. Uh, so Falter went out there and did his job. He was very calm, cool, and collected as always. Uh, seems to pitch with a good amount of confidence. Uh, so we get this, and uh, you know, he, I definitely think he's earned himself another start. I mean, no question about that. Uh, and uh, Nick Nelson, two and two thirds, three hits, one run, run was earned. Didn't walk anybody. Struck out one. Uh, so uh, he also did it, went out there and did his job pretty well. Perfect time to use Nick Nelson. Is this bullpen, in a way, uh, kind of gets a little break last night. We didn't have to see names like Brad Ham, didn't have to see names like, uh, you know, David Robertson, didn't have to see names like, you know, Jose Alvarado, Sam Coonrad, uh, the list goes on. Uh, and uh, not to mention, now we also get a good day off today. Uh, which is huge, right? Which is just great. Hopefully we get to see Nick Castellanos back uh, tomorrow night, 10-15 to first pit in San Francisco. Of course, they're going to have it on Apple TV. I am so tired of the commissioner. He needs to, he needs to resign. Rob Manfred needs to step down from his post right now. He is an absolute disaster. Uh, the way he handled the lockout in the winter, the way he handled the 2020 season is an absolute disgrace, and he should lose his job. He should lose his job. Uh, I'm tired of Commissioner Manfred. He's an absolute joke. He doesn't care about the game of baseball. If he cared about the game of baseball, he'd make sure it's more easily accessible to all fans. All fans. So don't give me I care about the game of baseball because that is a flat-out lie. You know, you don't care about the game of baseball. Uh, so I, I'm tired of his lies. Rob Manfred is an absolute joke. Uh, he needs to resign. So 10-15, the first pitch tomorrow night. Kyle Gibson, 9-5 and five with a 4 away to array going against Alex Cobb, the former Baltimore Oriole. Fit Four and six with a three eight one of your right. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please turn the bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Check out the social media link in the description section at Phillies Hat Silver Media, Instagram, Instagram, follow me on Twitter at Beyond Silver Media, car text 267-225-3392. Email me, Phillies Hat Media at gmail.com. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Luke and I'll talk to you. Let's go, Phillies. We'll see you guys.